the comparison game will keep you broke and injured. Hey ladies, I'm back. Another day, another podcast. So today I wanted to talk about something, a little aha moment that I had at the gym this morning. And remember, my brain only thinks in podcasts. So every little thing that I do, I'm constantly thinking about what's the life lesson. And to be honest, it's getting a little annoying. So I went to the gym this morning and one of the last exercises that we had to do was 75 ab mat sit-ups. And this is not about getting in the debate of ab mat sit-ups because that's a whole nother conversation. Um, and I'm not an ab guru by any means. I know people talk about them not being good for you and whatever, but just for the sake of this podcast, let's just talk about the ab mat sit-ups. So the rule of the game was you have 75 ab mat sit-ups and he was very diligent and strategic in teaching us how to do a correct ab mat sit-up, like almost a 10-minute tutorial on how to breathe and move your body and what this should look like and going like almost annoyingly about the correct way to do an ab mat sit-up. So he said 75 ab mat sit-ups, if you break up your set you have to go on what they call the assault bike, the air bike, whatever the heck you want to call it, and do 10 calories on the bike. So in my brain, I'm like, shit, I hate the bike. I do not want to do any calories on the bike. So I had to mentally make a commitment to just follow through with these ab mat sit-ups. And I knew that if I followed through at a consistent pace, I would be okay. What would get me is if I went too fast. So there was five of us, three women, two men, and I'm, I'm on my game. I'm like, I have mentally made a commitment that I will not break this set, but again, I'm not going to kill myself doing it, right? So if I breathe to take a break, then I have to get up and get on the bike. So we start, and as soon as we start, I start judging myself. I actually start comparing myself. Oh, the person next to me, they're already on five and I'm only on two. Oh my God, they're at 30. I'm at 10. What? They're done? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? I must not be doing this right. So I get it. I know my brain's going to do this. It's going to play the comparison game. But I made a commitment to follow through. And my goal was just not to get on that bike. My goal is also not to hurt myself. So this is the funny thing. As I'm sitting there judging and comparing myself to other people saying, I'm not good enough. I'm not going fast enough, which I know is complete bullshit. I also know on the other spectrum that the people that were going at it fast were doing it for time. They weren't, they had shit quality, shit quality. Their form wasn't correct. They were just swinging their arms. They're going to injure themselves. So I'm sitting here saying, I'm paying attention to how I was taught to do this ab mat sit up without hurting myself and being consistent for 75. So I flow, I flew through it. And when I say flew through it, I don't mean fast. I mean like with ease and grace, just doing my thing. And two out of the three women besides me got on the bike. They burned themselves out. They wore themselves to the ground. They were like, okay, maybe it's like the tortoise and the hare. Maybe they got a little bit ahead, but they just burnt out. They weren't doing it properly. Their body said, hey, I'm in pain. Stop fucking doing this to yourself. So then they had to take a break. And then when they took their break, it was like, ah, now you got to get on the bike. So I finished probably a little later, maybe 30 seconds later than the other people that um, were consistent, but I did it. I did it. I didn't injure myself and I stuck to my commitment of not getting on that bike. So 
the moral of the story is I caught myself comparing my journey to someone else's journey. I already had a goal and a plan going in. I'm going to finish these 75 ab mat sit-ups and I'm not getting on that bike. That was my internal commitment to myself. I didn't care what it looked like getting there. I wasn't trying to be a hero. I wasn't trying to win an award because there was no awards. And, and I wanted to make sure it was quality. So when I finished, the trainer actually came up to me and said, that was a great job. You stuck to your plan. You weren't, you know, hustling through it. You had consistency. And he said, I guarantee you, you will see better results than the other people because you were focused on your form. So ladies, when you are pushing, 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 pushing through life and being competitive with yourself, like I have to get my whole damn to-do list complete before the end of the day, ask yourself, is this quality work? Is this quality work? Because it is going to take you twice as long, three times as long to get to that quality work if you are just go, 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 because you're going to have to repeat it again and again and again. So why not show up once? If you're at the gym, you might as well put in the good effort. That way, when you go home, you feel stronger, you feel more alive, and you feel energized. So if you are on this personal development journey, which we all are, regardless if you've made a decision to follow through with becoming a better version of yourself or not, we're all on a personal development journey. Just know you are not in a hurry. There is no competition. Show up, get shit done. And be aware of the stories you tell yourself of how you're not good enough. That's what I got for you today. Go be you.